And it's like, it's like you think you know, but you don't, you don't know. You don't know, bro. You're like, I'm here, and I'm notification squad, and I'm like, no. No. No, you don't know. How could you know? In what planet did you know? Also, hi. I'm, I'm linking in Discord right now. Hold on. Hold on. Why, why would you even... When, if you're watching the playback of this for some reason, I have no idea why. Hold on. Hold on. I'm coming. We're going to start. We just link it in the thing. And then you're going to at everyone and say everything out loud. The whole time. RDR2 live. RN. And then send now. And then it's out there. And now we can play some Red Dead. Let's play some fucking Red Dead. You will force fish down my throat, good sir. I don't believe you. Also, I am in this little dock town over here. It's an interesting little place. That beard is coming in nice. I like it. I like it. Also, look at how pretty this game is. What is up, not Kieran? So we're gonna walk into this bar, and we're gonna learn some stuff. Okay, guys? We're gonna walk real slow-mo, like in the west. This is how they walked in the west. You walked faster than this, you were an outlaw. This is how you walked. Everywhere. You walk like this? Fucking criminal. Criminals? Oh my god, are you running? Fucking criminal. Where that place? Not sure I've seen it before. Bam, how are you? I'm good, Karen, man. How you doing? And I am... At Van Horn Trading Post. It is far west on the map. It is very far west. And by west I mean east. It is far east on the map. It is in the tame tame east and not the wild wild west. I am out here. Story missions are here. We will ride over there and probably see shit along the way. But I did see this area and I remembered having this encounter. And I forgot to do it on stream last time. So we're going to do it this time. Long time no see, Riza. Yes. Yes, Gabriella. It is indeed cool. It is very cool, Fayaz, but no. It's, uh... It's, I've been busy. I've been, uh, doing stuff and things. I've been lifting the weights and the, the going, eating the places and eating the stuff. And, uh... And, uh, and I've been, I've been busy, man. I, I, the, 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 the weedings, the marriage one is the, 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 yeah. It's been, uh... It's been time consuming. <laughs> I'm good, mate. My 10 minutes until I'm um, good. Jump into bed. Had a long day. Oh, right, because it's like almost 10 p.m. where you are at, I'm assuming, right? If you're in England, it's either 5 or 6 hours ahead of me, so it's either 9 or 10 p.m. Uh, in which case, do you, dude. Have a good night, man. Blimey well, and a bloke to you. Have a tipper off the watcher's uh, jiggity. That's, that means something. I will head far west, and by that I mean east. Correct. Graduated high school too. Up so oh fucking congratulations, Gabby. That's awesome, man. Let's, see, let's let's see some let's see some random emotes in the chat for Gabby. Freaking graduated, dude. I'm glad you're happy. Oh yeah, we gotta have that talk, Gabby. I keep getting too busy. We gotta have that talk because I know you were worried about the whole graduating thing. Let's talk. Let's talk about stuff. Giorgio ASMR. Howdy, be man. Hope you had a great week. Thank you, man. I'm uh. I'm chillin'. I'm fucking. I'm good. I had a. I had a long one. I'll tell you that shit. Uh, <laughs> but I had a. I had a fairly decent weekend, so I can't complain, man. I'm so happy and thank you. Enjoy it while you can, cause you get to say thank you to everybody. It's like having your own award show, and I know girls love that. You get to have an award show for yourself. Just make sure you don't say it around other people that are graduated, cause they'll be like, I graduated, and I got a blah blah blah, and I blah blah. My mom's getting me a thong, and I'm gonna thong. Don't do that. You gotta do it to people that aren't also graduating. So here's perfect. This is her award show. That's the whole stream. Garrett, you go to bed. Just woke up. Oh yeah, Fayaz is also from the land of Englinton, where. Where hobbits and magic happens. Paige, what's going on, dude? <laughs> Good to you, Brew Man. I just had to come hang with you. Thank you, man. Glad you came through. I hope I don't disappoint. I'm about to go in right now, and y'all about to see some, uh. Some. I mean, you'll see. That tiny man is a big problem for us. Magnifico is my friend.
Everything okay? Imagine saving people, taking them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little <coughs> tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. Oh, fuck it, he. No, Bertram. Oh, Bertram, fuck it. Bertram, woof, woof. Bertram, put the nice man down. Do something. You only eat him. Um, uh, e e easy there. Uh, easy there. Sure is. Bertram. I forgot how to fight. Ooh, first person. What you do with that bitch? Get off me, son. Get fucked. Get fucked. Go down, big boy. Not pretty anymore, come on! What do you have to have a champion spirit? What is this? Well, uh, let's be friends, okay? Come here, Bertram. <laughs> oh, yes, Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Well, well, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico. Hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me what that little worm ran off to, hmm? B Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Mm. I'm sorry. <laughs> You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram Black Sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. All right, what's what's the gang been saying? Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I wish at graduation here. We only do them for university, and plus we are forced to do every year. Can't just be smart and get through each grades easier. That, yeah, but you're in Englandton where they they all beat you in schools and stuff, right? Isn't it like that? That that's the deal. They 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 put hot irons in your feet. Listen, I've been taught and mostly made up a lot of ridiculous things about the English uh, schooling system, and uh, I need you to live them because otherwise I would. Uh, well, I'd be a ridiculous person. <laughs> I would love to live in the U.S. It would be better there. First person puncher, correct. Uh, yes and no. Yes, it's... There's a school system in all different places. Like, I'm in New York, and we have a pretty good school system. Um, look at how this empty-ass bar suddenly got filled. Hey, y'all. Hi, mister. Ma'am. Are you a talented lady or a talented prostitute? No, oh, that's a worn down old prostitute, I think. But she's got passion. Let me see what the chat was saying. Um, wasn't this guy real? I actually don't know, Gabby. I love this game's cutscenes. Well, you're gonna have to beat his ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. You knew what was gonna happen. You see a guy that big, he's the size of a fucking ox. You don't have to put him down. Uh, George and Lenny, except it's just Lenny. Eh, possibly, actually. Feel bad for Bertram. You're supposed to care, and if you don't, you're a bad person. Man, I thought that guy was ugly in third person, right? 
but he's got a inside soul of decency. I don't know. He's he's a he's a thug that works for no money. Basically, it's a shame. It really is. I'm close to crying now. Oh yeah, I know it's heart wrenching. Pete Bertram. Yeah, he ain't gonna try that shit ever again. Gear, don't cry, or you know, just cry face emoji, but don't actually cry. It's like when people say lol, like they type it, but their their face didn't move. You know, they didn't lol. Unless they say lol in all caps, then they fucking lol. You earn that shit. Big bad Bertram. Don't don't you dare lol a big bad Bertram the way I did when I knocked him out. I didn't though. I lolled at the part where he was just like, "You should watch your servant." Bear me, nigga. <laughs> that shit was great. <laughs> Stop being mean to Bertram. He's so wholesome. He is. He's just controlled by a horrid, manipulative bitch. Um, now for the midget chase. <laughs> oh, Patriot asshole, I love you. <laughs> they may they beat us up when we get a question wrong. Do they really? That's fucking absurd. That's ridiculous, man. We'll talk about college, that's all. Oh, we'll talk about college. We'll have that talk, Gabby. The problem, it's a little short. I lost the night of the teachers in these damned English schools. Did you? But I've seen you. You have your both your eyes. Fayez, you can't lie while Kieran's telling the truth about being beaten. You have to... Look, look, you can only say you're a pirate if you lost an eye. You can't just say I lost an eye. You're not the one-eye guy. The fucking pirate. Don't be like, oh, of course he has one eye. He's a fucking pirate. Don't lie to me, Fayez. I know you're a pirate. We all know you're a pirate. And hatred in my soul for that damn headmaster. As you should. They are horrible pieces of shit. Who the hell beats a kid for getting a question wrong? It's like a child with a developing mind. And they're like, what's four plus four? And you're like, I want my toys. It's fucking insane, dude. Manning off now. I'll see you later. I need to cry before getting beat. Oh, Kieran. Listen. You just, you just get in shape. And you learn how to fight, and you beat the fuck out of them back. And then get expelled, and then lose all chances of an education. Listen, you just get in shape and parry. You just parry all day. You just parry, you just knock their fist out of the way, you just dodge, and you'll be like, Oh, well, you're shit at fighting, so maybe don't take a swing at me, you punk-ass bitch. Then you don't feel so you will get you a new eye. Uh, but then he won't be a pirate, Giorgio. Kieran hitting the side. You know what, Giorgio? Appreciate they. He does appreciate they. Play blackjack? No, 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 no. Howdy, Sup? Fellers. Parker? Howdy. How's it going? It's been pretty bad. <clears throat> Mister? Mister? Let's go out the back door. This game in first person, I gotta tell you. It's it's just okay there? extra pretty. What? Greet this horse. I can't greet the horse. Where's my horse? Hey guys, which one do you think is my horse out of these three? I want you to guess which of these three is my horse. You guessed correct. Okay, now we gotta go back to, uh, what's his face with the thing? Uh, oh, there's some Magnifico stuff going on here. Alright, that's the guy they were looking for. Well, I fuck with it, let's do it. Let me beat a person up, what the fuck? I didn't tell you how to. I told you to do it, and I taught you how to parry and, and how to really defuse a fight. You're you're kind of putting it into a stalemate if you're dodging and parrying the attacks. You're you're really just showing them not to hurt you. You've shown them that instead of teaching you academics, they've taught you combat. Which is really, you know, like a middle finger to them. Uh, but also, that shit is really archaic, if, if you're not kidding. Like, um, they should not be fucking hitting students. That shit is insane. And that is why, um, I think England is kind of a laughing stock if they actually hit children. What is this? Are you supposed to be a fucking knight one day? Are you squiring right now? That is crazy. <laughs> uh, heard of a guy who could train you his particular set of skills. Correct, page is fear. Unfortunately, he is fictional. Playing this, you have to have fistful of dollars. Theme playing constantly in the background. I actually realized that there's a lot of downtime in between, and decided that I would do 50 Cent raps from his original album, Get Rich or Die Trying. Not his original album, his first mainstream album, his first official album, not not the underground stuff. As we go, but because I don't want to hit by copyrights, I will instead recite the song. With no no beat, no rhythm, it will be great. But also maybe a fistful of dollars. Ahem, hey, Kiwi, what is up? How are you? How is the country of New Zealand doing? You are responsible for it. How is it? The one at the end. Correct, Giorgio. Also, I forget um, what you're referencing. 
because my short-term memory is fantastic these days. Is it Mortal Kombat? I mean, kind of. I mean, every fight is a fight when you're, like, every, there's no such thing as cheating when you're fighting for your life. Every fight is a fight for your life, so basically if they start a fight, they're like, yo, what, what's good? And you're like, yo, fuck you, and they're like, yo, fuck you back. And you're like, not literally, and they're like, no, I, I might. And you're like, well, I like my anal virginity. And then you gotta kill him, you know what I mean? You gotta guard that butt. It's cool, but good. I'm glad. And yes, you're responsible for it. Then we would only put the crazy one in charge. We can't just put the regular Kiwis in charge. They would they would just become Australia, and we can't have that. We need the unique craziness of you to keep all of New Zealand in check. Mostly so that we remember that you're crazy and we have a reference point for New Zealand, because otherwise it's just fictional. And it, it shouldn't be. It's a real place, I'm told. With real people that I have allegedly met. You could be Australians that talk funny. I don't know. Maybe it's an Australian run joke. I don't know. But you're crazy enough for me to believe that it's real. I'm not even sure Australia exists. I barely believe that cats are real. Listen, I'm a paranoid man. Uh, that wasn't part of the plan. But that was hilarious. Don't insult me like that, Lumfow. I mean, is it insulting if you're laughing with me? We're do doing the joke together. It's fucking... What is New Zealand? Is it a province? Is it a candy? Is it an idea? I don't know. Is it even new? What is Old Zealand? Oh my god, I just wrecked those birds. <laughs> I'm sorry, duck friend. I have to skin you. Well, guys, who wants to see a duck get skinned? That's what it looks like, guys. I need his game meat and duck feathers so I can make arrows and animal fat. Oh, so I can make explosives. Sweet! Flight feathers, animal fat. Isn't it great how you go through the whole skinning animation every time? It's like watching a horse out of water. Oh, Paige, you, you're a treasure. Always with the puns. Yeah. Even if they're not amazing, they're still good, and they're still technically puns. So, so like, you're anywhere from a 3 to a 5 at all times, and when you're a 5, it's great. And, but even when you're a 3, I fucking appreciate it, bro. I love it. Guess you'd call that a game over. That That's... Whoa. See, that's good stuff. The reason why it's called New Zealand, but I forgot. Damn it. Well, because, obviously, Old Zealand. Remember, you have to circle a few times before you get off the horse. Oh, boy. Whoa! <laughs> that's amazing. If you say so. Are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? To ruffle feathers. Well, <laughs> cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her, and uh, you know that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't no, you? That's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus. Ah! Ah! Stay away from me. Oh, you weren't kidding about the midget chase. Where is my horse? Oh, God. Got to chase this bitch down. Gave me some LSD. I'm tripping. I don't even know what's happening. This midget ain't even real. Oh, man. What is happening right now? I got I got to cross. How did you cross? I'm knee deep right now. Oh boy. Search the smoke. I'm searching the smoke. I've searched all the smokes. Alright, alright, this is 
uh... Search the clearing. Now where you gone? Magnifico! Can't magic out of this, partner. Come on now, she ain't as bad as all that. Where he at though? Son. Over here, dummy. Why you led me on a merry old dance? Come on down now. They just said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey, hey, hold on there. Ah, so long, dummy. That's a dynamite. Where are you? You really? little. I'm not gonna lie, I hate this nigga. Like, you're really pissing me off. What the fuck? What are you doing? You're on the train, aren't you, you bitch? Getting on the- Oh! Getting on the train- Oh. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a cool train thing that I could complain about. Oh, well, I kept my end of the bargain. Train to the Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stub of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram. You got Dummy over there. Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? Ha 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 ha. Shut up, you dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed uh, your brother. So you are going to be pulling oh. rabbits out of your ass until you are as old as you are tiny. Put them up there. Uh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him at the bar agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I know. Come to Mama. Oh, Dear. I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together. Back together. That lady's a I'm pimp. Glad it all worked out. And I mean that thanks literally. To you. Thank him, boys. Thank you. Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing San Denis next. Check with the box office. Here! They're going to St. Denis. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye bye. What I done to oh, look at the bunny. You too. Come here, horsey. Alright, now chat. What have you guys been saying? You draw flowers on that one. Hey, what happened to David Spade? No idea, bro. Oh, wait. I, ha, ha, I get it. No way, this because there is still a place called Zealand in another country. There is no Zealand. Listen, you guys are not real. Zealand is in Narnia. Or, um, the Shire. Or something. Middle Earth, that's what it's called. Um, and it, uh, quite frankly, it offends me that you don't know that. Uh, kick him in his lucky charms till the gold pops out. Correct. Ha ha, I agree, Gabriella. Guess he's branching out. Solid, solid tree pun. I like it. By the way, he's got the game, but I was super excited until I decided not to install it on the PS4 or decide... Oh, yeah, I had that problem with my copy, too. Uh, I had to go to GameStop and have them, um, replace it. Because, like, it just, it just wouldn't install. And they're like, what do you mean? And I was like, do you think I'm trying to scam you? Nigga, I just, I just want to play Red Dead. Can I play Red Dead? I just want to play Red Dead. If I could simply play Red Dead, that would be great. 
Abigail Roberts and Bill Williamson. Well, let me see what Abigail wants first, because Bill's probably going to be some story advancing shit. Buddy! Correct, Gabriella. Bunny indeed. Well, what does that Hello. ominous looking sign say? Welcome to Lemoyne. Oh yeah, let's keep our guns ready. Uh, one of these is the good one. I think it's that one. And then... Shotgun or... Sniper rifle. Yeah. We ride. And now we're gonna do some 50 cent wraps. They say I walk around like I got an S on my chest. No, that is a semi-auto. And a vest on my chest. I try not to say nothing the DA might want to play in court. Put a hunt, a duck, a nigga down like it's a sport. Front on me, I'll something gun butt you or something. He talks very fast in this part of the song. I don't know what he's saying. If it's if it ain't money and I can't get no richer, then fuck it. If not the type that'll get knocked for DWI. I am the type to kill your connect when the coke price rise. Gangsters, they bump my shit, then they know me. I grew up around some niggas that's not my homies. 100 G's, I stash it. And then his own backing vocal comes up, and then he says, What? And then he says, The Mac, I blast it. And then he does his own backing vocal there again, and he says, Yeah! When D's come, we dump in diesel and battery acid. This flow has been mastered. The ice, I flash it. And then he said something there, and then he says, I'll have your mama picking out your casket, bastard. I'm on the next level, right lane, forget bezel, bands, pedal to the metal, hotter than the tea kettle. I was an idiot when I liked rap as a kid. Jesus Christ, that song sucks. I can't believe I thought it was the truth. I thought that song was the truth, Gabby. I was like, that shit is amazing. He is the next Biggie. He is the next Tupac. He, Mr. Two Quarters is the greatest. But, like, look at him now and shit, yo. Not mean. He's out there in these streets in debt to I don't know who. He's on Instagram collecting like debt from other people. And it, 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 it while it does amuse me, it is also depressing. Do you want to fuck with the people who have like a fire over there? Want to investigate the fire? You want to be a Snoopy Doopy Doop? Let's investigate the fire and be a Snoopy Doopy Doop. Oh yeah, but also I want my sniper rifle. Correct, Gabby. I guess he's like my Ariana Grande, you know? I've lost track of the fire. Was there ever a fire? Gabby, I think I made the fire up. And now I'm scared. This is something of like a little settlement area right here. Hey, boy. That sounds like a setup. You eyed me up on your way. Someone gonna die here. I'm not trying to fight you, guy. I was just trying to look at you. This is this guy trying to fight me? Gabby, do I have to kill a bitch? Oh, that's who's screaming. Some kind of bounty. Or something. That's fine. They can have her. I'm not a hero. I'm a bad person in this playthrough. I have to stop greeting people and being friendly, actually. That's good people behavior. Hey, and I want to interact though. I, I'm okay to be a fuck with her. This is a private matter. It don't involve you none. Yo, it's the boy Glizzy. Sup, Glizzy? Hello, Gabrielle. How are you? I think that's the best reason. Correct. I enjoy being a background troll. Also, what is up, Glizzy? Also, why would you make it OMG Glizzy and not OM Glizzy? Because then you can be like OMG Glizzy all in one, but also you could be like OM. Like, like hippies will love that and stuff. But also they'd be like, why is OM in like lowercase? Do you hate like 
like Clizzy and stuff, or like Ohm. Listen, all I know is I know nothing. And my God, am I tired? She graduated high school. This stream is her award show. She graduated high school. Now, Gabriella, get up on stage and thank everyone that you want to thank. I want to thank all the little people. I want to thank my barber. And I want to thank ice cream. And I wanted to thank bunnies. And all of the great things in the world. Congratulations, I got one more year. Yes, oh my gosh. Oh man, I was just fucking with you, Glizzy. God damn it, you're gonna make some music soul child bullshit name again. <laughs> I love fucking with you, I'm sorry man, I have to. I have to, dude, I have to. Just because I know it's something you like. Like, you're like the friend who's always like, I got a spoiler on my car, and I'm like, that that's not gonna get you pussy. It's... <laughs> I got this ill thing. But no, you know what, yeah. don't let me rain on your parade. Maybe it is the thing, maybe it will get you pussy. I've never had a spoiler, I don't know the spoiler life. Have fun, man. Good buff boy. I mean, I'm working on it, man. Got a little weight to lose. A little bit. Got a little, just a little, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Trying to get a little, little bit of this, uh, this extra me to love and shit. You know what I mean? Almost cry face. Why cry face? We just keep going, bro. It's worth having because it's hard to get. And you'll be glad once you get there, bruh. Be like, you know how hard I worked for that shit? Yeah. Remember the first time you beat Dark Souls? Are you crap face about that? It better not be. Weight to lose? I got muscle tone to gain. I have muscle tone. I need, I need, I need to lose some weight. <laughs> Walking right at me like you got a problem what with me. Think of the place? I don't know. So far, it seems okay, I guess. I think that there is rich pickings for some carpetbaggers like us. Huh. Is that what we are, is it? Avenging your father's death after 30 years? There's gold, or gold, if you say so. I want to say screw the administration, fuck you, principal. I mean, we all want to say that when we graduate because the administration is shit and the principal is always a piece of crap. If you had an awesome principal, then screw you. I want your life. I know the high school struggles me too. Literally, ha ha. Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. So that's like story. We'll do that later. Wanna play dominoes? Not really. Do you, Tilly. Do you. Oh, do I have your quest item? What is goodie inside of your hoodie? Who am I, well, who's this imaginary person who's standing right here? Perhaps you, sir? It's Pearson. Hey, Pearson. What's the sheriff's costume all about? Need any supplies? Always. Can never have too much. Alright. See what I can do. Yes, yes. Graduated, I'd say that. I wish I could say it, but they will have my diploma at hold. What do you mean they have it at hold? Like they're holding on to it? Until the actual graduation graduation? Snatch it, correct. Yes, Glizrahim. You like the new camp, Reverend? Oh, yes. We moved, didn't we? God help us. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Arthur? Later, Brother Hemoth. I will catch you on the flippity of the so, flip. How are you liking life as a lawman? What are we doing, Dutch? Well, I think they call it hiding in plain sight. 
Oh, is that what they call it? Because I got another word for it. Uh, I am sure that you have, but the way I see it, we stick out here either way. Now, we can hide and skulk in the woods. We'll arouse more suspicion than if we act friendly and helpful. Interesting theory. I wonder how the practical will work out. We shall see. Faith, Arthur. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right, then. He just walked up to me like we didn't just have a conversation a minute ago. They keep it and they might say, like, fuck you too, little bitch. Uh, I mean, they kind of can't. So, uh, how are you, Mr. Smith? I'm just saying. Fine. What? <laughs> You've been up to much, have you? Not really. This is a riveting talk, man. Read any interesting books recently? No. Sick. Sick! Love this talk. Seen any plays? But yeah, for my last whole, like, month of senior year, I basically never went to class. Because they were already like, alright, you graduated, what are they gonna do, not give me my fucking diploma, you shit? It's, it's a it's an act to make you act property. Yeah, it's fucking ridiculous. It's illegal. If you've already graduated and you have a diploma, they can't, unless you do something expulsion-worthy, they can't hold that back from you. Arthur. Ah, that reminds me. I got some debt money for the box. Okay, well, let's talk more later. I suppose. So, what do you think of the place? Seems fine. For now. Yep. Should buy us a bit of time, I hope. Well, I should get back to it. All right, Arthur. Yeah, it's a smokescreen, Gabby. It's, that's all it is. And as I say that, it gets foggy. What is that about? Evening. Good evening, Arthur. The boy behaving himself? For the most part. There he is. Hi. Evening, Arthur. Hi, Jack. How's the reading going? I'm getting better. Good. Well, keep it up. Let me know if you find candy. Good talk. Ooh, Gabby, some more reading. Otis Miller and the Black Hearted Lady. Number 186 in a series of original tales of Otis Miller's adventures, and looked across the arroyo and sat her horse and leaned over and spit in the dry dirt, running with cracks from a hundred days ago, beating sun. I don't know too many women. <laughs> not too many women take after chewing tobacco like that, the man said. I don't know too many one eyed engines. Black Bell replied, Fact, I'm not used to traveling with company. It slows me down. She motioned her horse over to the scree and blinked into the sun and spat again. He followed her down the gully, threw some scrub brush. Oh, by the way, he actually met Black Bell. She's awesome. Threw some scrub brush and passed the charred vestiges of a wagon long since burned and the remains of a driver still sat in the seat, having been picked clean by buzzards. Apaches, most like. He sniffed the air. Yep, she spat again. Will you ever tangle with them? I did. Got into a scrap with some Mexicans in a ravine outside Chuparosa. Two Apache warriors got caught rustling these Mexican horses. They lit. Oh, we actually went to Chuparosa in the first game. They lit over the edge of this ditch, running for musket fire, and damn near fell into my lap. We like to cut each other up. Each of us has our knives out when I'm so... This isn't comedy. This is like actual drama. This is like people killing each other. I'm not... I don't wanna... No. No. It's like an old western actual star. I thought it was gonna be ridiculous. It's like a historic retelling. Ain't nobody got time for that. Hosea Matthews is over there. Bill Williamson is over here. Abigail's mission has vanished for some reason. It's the whole reason I came back here. All right, let's do Bill's and see if Abigail's comes back. How about that? How about that? Uh... Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan! I know. We need food. How'd you know I was going to say that? 
You're walking. You're only walking when you're not cooking. You're only not cooking when there's not enough food. <laughs> Who's fighting with my future wife? Gonna sit. If that is who I think that is. Sorry, I was watching some Xbox E3 stuff. Keanu Reeves is in Cyberpunk. He came out on stage after the trailer showed him in the game. I mean, that's okay. It's surprising that he would make that move. I'm actually gonna buy a gaming PC and build it and learn gaming PC ology, like for real. Uh, entirely for Cyberpunk, because that game looks so fucking amazing. It really looks, like, ridiculously good. Slow down. I can only walk so fast. Have a nice evening. Someone ought to rip that damn badge off your chest. Managing to keep everyone in line? I'm doing my best. Any troublemakers, you let me know. Ain't nobody care. Alright, well then, fuck you, lady. You two still in business that does their stuff at 8.30 Eastern. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm sure they'll unveil another Skyrim. It'll be great to see that game. Um, on fucking the Switch or some shit. I got you, homie. I'm just, I'm talking to my homie. Look out, Lenny. Look out. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense and... I don't know. I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy. But I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No. Just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. All right, I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm gonna be performing. Okay. So, Bill, this better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Okay, we're robbing right. a bank. Let's go. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Strauss. That man, the debtor. Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, then he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. <laughs> We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. Follow me. This is some serious ass music though. So tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. 
Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Nita should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work, same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups, dealt with some old Driscolls. Ah, oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that. Once things get going. So, thinking this through. You rob Cornwall's train. We shoot a heap of his men in Valentine. We rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's a genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. If you say so. We need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of this is course. exciting. In and out. Dutch is gonna love this. Let's get it done first. Trotting in like fucking kings. Everybody knows who we are, and we're trotting in.
Oh boy. Good morning. Hey. Okay. Let's leave the horses here off the main drag. All right, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. Get ready. Oh wait, Chancellor Chauncey, I need my guns. Go to work. Of course. Can I can I can I guns now? Alright, keep it cool and follow me, fellas. Okay, I guess I can't guns now. So we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want or the drunken harlot? So which one? Lost girl, drunken harlot. Let's go with drunken harlot. Uh, of course, you know I like the harlot. You're the only one. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, Zolania. <laughs> now where is he? If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's got him real down. Sounds like you don't know me. Oh, stuck up in here. Not so goddamn stuck up last night. Oh, son. Just between that. I've never seen this woman in my life. Get your goddamn uh, no. hands up. Go. This is a goddamn robbery. Nobody move. Get your word up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! Okay, the door's unlocked. Oh, you think we're here? No. Come on, huh? Oh. 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 Open the goddamn vault! Oh. Oh. Open it! Oh. Oh. As fast as I can. How's it looking? Are you in? Uh, nearly. This son of a bitch needs to get a move on. Okay. Okay. Too slow. Too goddamn slow. Shoot behaves himself in here. Come here. <clears throat> Open the lock boxes now. I the, 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 the manager does that. I, I God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but uh, you better be quick. <clears throat> You shut the hell up and stay still! As you rotate safe dial, rotation on L will slow down the closer you are to the correct safe number. But it's quiet. Okay. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. It's 
So tense, Gabby. Do it, Gabby. They did suffer enough. But we're outlaws, honey. We don't give a shit. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Sorry, partner. <clears throat> shit. Hurry up! I heard. Go on! Got him. Gentlemen, hurry! We seem to have some company. We got the place surrounded. Let's get it. Let's get it, kids. I'll go. Follow me. What are you insane? Probably. Don't shoot! Don't shoot him! I made a terrible mistake. Get out of there, miss! Sorry. I shot you in the face. You are done in ruins.
Get on the horse, buddy. Ride the horse, buddy. Let's get the fuck out of here, guys. Solid take. That was fun. Fuck Valentine. <laughs> shooting at. Yeah, you showed that bush who's boss, I'll tell you what. Sorry, horsey. alcohol in the saddle and shit, trying to keep my dead eye core high. on the way that sucks bro They're not fucking around, Gabby. They still want to go. It actually makes them, like, saltier. Come on, get across. Gotta beat that train, Morgan. Yeah, I'd like to, but the game won't let me run at max speed. For that dramatic cutscene. Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, Thank this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. I know the feeling, Kieran. That's now, me every night. On, Welcome back, here. buddy. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. You just missed a bank robbery. Oh, it ain't over till it's over. Too, Gabby. Yeah. I'm actually considering EMDR therapy to help with my fucking sleep issues, man. Because apparently that's a thing. What am I on the border of right now? Oh, I'm in Valentine. I have a $5 bounty in... New Hanover. I'm going to Edith Downs. Okay. 
got it. This is a familiar area. This is not far from where we used to be encamped. Over to the right, actually. Right up that hill. Remember that, Gabby? All those many, many years ago. My friend convinced me to stop supporting people from school's YouTube channels because they don't appreciate me. I mean, yeah, don't. Don't support a channel just because you know them. Support them if you like their content, man. If they don't appreciate you, then, then fucking don't fuck with them, dude. Feel more free now. Yeah, it's the best feeling when you let go of fucking people in your life that don't matter. You just stop thinking about them, when you stop dealing with them, having any association with them. It's the fucking best. Don't let them have any real estate in their mind, in your side of your mind, unless they're fucking paying for it. Fuck that shit. Hey, doggy. All of this can wait until I have spoken to the doggy. Hey, buddy. You're a doggy and I love you. You're a good doggy. You're the best doggy. Don't mind all of the horse poop to my left. You're an amazing doggy. The greatest. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at the doggy. First person doggy. Oh, the doggy. No! No, I'm not done with the doggy. Hey, buddy. Hi. Hi, I love you. Oh, you're perfect. Oh, never-ending pets. Okay, now I have to fuck with your owners, okay, buddy? I'm sorry. Alright, my gun's auto-unequip. Sniper rifle, even though I'm not sure what I would use it for here. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. I love Arthur. <laughs> it's like, fuck you commentary, man. You got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, oh, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. That sure reminds me of a major lesson. That every young man learns, I suppose. Doesn't matter if you made the deal, doesn't matter if you understood the deal and you shook hands on it. Girls don't like keeping promises when they're not in the mood to. She made the deal, he made the deal, she understood the deal, she's like, Oh, you ain't just killed him, you're, thawl, you know? you're just as bad as everybody else. And she had to be coerced into, you know, keeping her word and shit. Not that men don't do that too, but I see that happen a lot more often with girls. It's a weird thing. That uh, we never talk about as a society, but it's like a pro tip, Kieran. If a girl promises you something, then eh, doesn't really mean much. <laughs> like for with most girls, a, a promise doesn't mean anything. Cause she was like, "Hey, listen, we made a doll, and part of that doll is I have y'all, and you have me, and we're gonna do it and we'll pay the debt back on time." Yeah. And then it's time to pay the debt, and. Uh, She's like, no. Oh, that's my future wife right over there. Hey, I didn't tell Dutch about the little diversion on our supply run. Why not? I'll fight any time and any place. I love her. Yeah, and that's the problem. Anyway, I won't disturb you. 
If you say so. Like, but marry me? Karen lacks a man in uniform way I hear it. <laughs> Good evening to you. Hi, Jack. Hi. Rest of us. Rest of us. Yeah, I know. Oh, Dutch is drunk. Never We're stuck in the ship now, Mr. Morgan. In the ship. We're drowning in mud. For a man of the cloth, you have quite a way with words. Words are the very least of my problems. The very least. I'm sure. How do you expect me to talk to a girl? I don't know, man. Why are you so Maybe you'll be horny, me, and then you'll be like, hey. Anyway. She'll be like, hey, I'm horny too. And they'll be like, sick. Really touched an earth. King Arthur. <laughs> well, at least you're working for once anyway. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right. Hey, drunky, what's good? I gotta give it to Bill, Karen, and Lenny. They made the right call going back there. It was exactly what we needed. Back on our feet. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay, Arthur. And I guess put my share into it's the real box. Good in Valentine. <laughs> Thanks. You too. I'm ready for the next one. Yeah. Let's wait a bit. A crazy bitch. Good stuff. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan! I've noticed you've stopped paying into the box. I've been sort of busy, Miss Grimshaw. Hmm. Well, we all need to eat, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Let's give all depths. Evening, Arthur. Take all the debits. Let's give them like, I don't know, like 200 bucks. Thanks, bros. Like 300 bucks. 325 bucks. That's my boy. You heard about the bank in Valentine? Yeah. Sounds like it went very well. Good work, Arthur. Ah, uh, Bill, Karen, and Lenny put it together. How are you? There you are, Dutch. Can't complain. That's it. Ha ha, Riza, indeed. Me, I'm horny. Girl, same. Me, swoo, um, how's your day been? No, you say, uh, let's rectify that. Alright, well, I should be getting on. All right, all Shall right. I off with the clothing, and then you off with the clothing, and then we, uh, pee on each other? Because that's, that's what intercourse is, right? It's mutual peeing? Morgan. Hey, Uncle. You okay with this spot for now, Mr. McGuire? Ah, sure. I like to keep moving, I do. It's in me blood. Along with a lot of whiskey. Anyway, I won't disturb you. That was racist. Yeah. Okay. The fuck was that about? No. He just wandered in. <gasps> Hi, Hi, puppy. Well, then he's ours, I guess. Mystery yeah. can't see who the cur who wandered his way into the camp at Clemens Point. Named by Dutch, Kane loves attention in this new family within the gang. You're the best puppy ever, and I love you. Come here. No, no, you're hey boy. no, no, no. What should we call him? It's mine. He's a wanderer. It's mine, and I love him. He probably did something bad. Kane. His name is Kane. Okay. Hey, Kane. This is the whole game. This is the rest of the game. This is the only part of the game that matters. I know, Kieran, isn't it? The greatest pup. I've never seen a, a dog get pet for this long without licking your face, but I can believe it. Oh my god. I want to play with the doggy now. Oh my god, I want to play with the doggy like right now, right now. Oh my god. I'm a puppy. I love you, pup.
the ambiance, the atmosphere in this game. I mean, look at this. This game is fucking beautiful. Even when I'm doing nothing, I appreciate this game. So, what do you think of this place? Better than your little hermit camp, right? Oh, it's wonderful, Arthur. Thank you for asking. Yeah, it didn't match up with the voice line there. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Alright then, Calpo. Wait, where's the food ledger thing where I give food in? Good job finding this spot. You found it too. I wouldn't have. You hadn't talked me into it. Can you clip this and loop it into ten hours? You okay. can. Well, let's talk more later. I don't know how to edit stuff. Okay. And I'm I could learn, but much company right now. no. No. I don't wanna. It's mad work. And by mad work I mean some amount of work. Hey, Grimshaw. Abigail, what's let's get that mission. Really, Mr. Bell? You flatter me. Oh, she's kind of busy right now. Tell me some stories about when you was young and pretty before time ravaged you. Ravaged you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's a great way to not get the girl. Well, we always knew he was a douche nozzle. Hello, Arthur. Alright. Then request log updated. Hold start for details. Oh no, it's too late. No, I wasn't trying to do the journal. How do I pull up the menu for... Not that. Also not that. There is a way to pull up a menu. I forget how to do it. So Gears of War 5 is going to have the Terminator in it for pre-orders. Yeah, it's a thing that is happening. I mean, I don't know. BRB, do you think, Kieran? <coughs> I don't know about that, bro. I, don't, I hope it'll be good, I'll but be I don't know about that, bro. Hello, Arthur. It's going to have the Terminator in it. Like, that would have been amazing 20 years ago. Now it's just like, of course it has a Terminator in it. They have to make some money off that franchise somehow. Hey. That was a cool one or two movies they made. On that bank job. Loved every minute. There'll be plenty more where that came from. Alright, well, I should be getting on. That's not what I was... okay. Alright, so we're gonna sleep on it and see if Abigail gives me a mission again. If not, we move on. That's a good boy right there. I'll tell you what. Excuse my burpingness. Where is my bed? Oh, it's over there. Howdy do! No way, it's Uncle. Shocking. It's becoming very tiresome. Everything's tiresome to you these days. You've barely touched me in weeks. What do you want from me? To be treated with some respect and affection. All them out there, they're laughing at me. You think this is the way to a man's affection? Moping and pestering all the damn day? Oh, I can do a lot worse than that. Is that a threat? Another great way to a man's affection. Oh, shut up. Gladly. See, even when they're outlaw, crazy, killer, thief ladies, they still want affection, guys. Note that. They still want cuddles, and, like, they want to feel God. I like, just, treat, just be nice to me. That's all I want. You know, like, that's all. It's, they're still girls, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Mom got way too close to the door. Well then, don't, like, jack it when your mom's around. Gotta stop jacking it, buddy. 
And I don't mean stop jacking it, I mean stop being so easy to catch jacking it. Sleep until noon. Fuck it, I earned it. Coming out of the new Battletoads looks cool. Oh yeah, remakes, I love it! Also, Lego 4 is a lull. Of course! <laughs> Why would we want original IPs? Let's, uh... <laughs> let's milk Battletoads to death. Oh, the fucking boardroom meeting where someone presented that idea, and then everyone was like, Oh, I'm fucking Battletoads. Everybody remembers the mission, it's really hard, right? Let's make some fucking... Battletoads, except they say fuck now, it's gonna be great. I say this having seen none of the material. Hey. Look out, old man. <laughs> Trying to see what's good with Abigail. It's not a Battletoads remake, it's a new game. Yeah, but it's an old IP based on a 2D fighter, based on a TV show. Entirely made to merchandise toys to kids in the 80s and 90s. It's it's soulless, dude. <laughs> like it's it's like oh they made battle toads. Oh shit! It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be an open world simulation. you should get out of here for a bit. God, that'd be nice. That never happened, sir. Different style too. Goodbye. I know, I know. But that's what all that shit was. You know, all those, like, TV shows you watch in the 90s entirely made so they could sell toys, right? That's the whole point. Never peddle to kids. Of course not. Why would they? How could you even insinuate that they would? Are we supposed to call you Sheriff Morgan now? Hi, Karen. Grimshaw keeping off your back? I wish. Well, just keep your head down. Is that it for missions? I guess Abigail's never gonna tell me the thing. I suppose I should pay off that hundred twenty dollar bounty. Eh, worth it. But I should pay it off. Need a post office. I need a hero. And a post office though, I really do. Oh sorry, I accidentally hit the keyboard. How could you? At the Morgan is now revolver ocelot. Shawnee, hey, what's up? What's going on, Sean? How you been, bud? What is good yeah. with you? You missed a bank robbery, buddy. We robbed a bank in Valentine. It was pretty cool. Story mission yet? I gotta get rid of this bounty before they bounty me some more. I pity my enemies. <laughs> hey there, partner. You interested in a little friendly competition? Nah, fight me, son. I'm not drinking some coffee and hanging out. I have today off. Sweet, man. Hope you relaxed and enjoyed it. I certainly did myself. I played basketball this morning. It was actually kind of a major workout. I, I was supposed to go to the gym, but I actually feel, like, really tired. Like, I feel like I already went to the gym. And I went for a big old walk. I had a big old breakfast. Got a whole bunch of stuff done. Took a shower, and I'm all clean. I did my laundry. I feel good. How is everyone? Never feel like jacking it after you jack it. That's how good I feel. Feeling great, buddy. Just to do it. You know? I don't even want to want to jack it. I showed that door who's boss. Ah, welcome back, sir. The price tag on little old you. One hit on me, you broke ass bitch. 
My take from that was $1,250. Back in Wild West times, that's like $400,000. Maybe. I don't know. It's a lot of money, though. It's like, you, you, you have to pay a lot of money, and I'm like, shut up, bitch. This feels in the air. This really remains immaculate. Wait, Kiwi is streaming BRB. Oh, tell her I said hi. I'll, I'll tell her I said hi. Hang on. I'm gonna go over and say hi to Kiwi real fast. Just real fast. Just real. R I L L space F A S S real fast. Uh, Kiwi Asha. Right? That's how her name is spelled. Uh, okay, maybe not search engine it. Maybe just scroll up. Maybe I'll just scroll up. Because <laughs> I know she was in here earlier. Crazy Kiwi. That's right. Kiwi Asha is her Discord name. Cool, I'll join you. Sick. We'll give her a heart emoji. Hold up. And she's like, blimey, you guys are visiting. She's playing Alex Legends, as, um, Aris would call it. <laughs> and coming back. Sorry, Gabby. This must have been not interesting for you. Alright, let's go. We are red, we are dead, and we have been redeemed by running our horse into a wall. That is the redemption. I planned that. That was by design. So far away. Okay, here we go. Mission time. But before I do that, I'm going to BRB bathroom. I will be right back. Hold up. Ah, ow.
All right. Let's play some. Uh, let's play some Red Dead. And be like the cool kids. That's how the song goes, right? Where's he? Where's I? Need my guns. Gun me. Yes, lads, indeed, doing? mates. Selling it back to where it came from. John wow. Marston. Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. Why did my oh, guns vanish? Good luck. Give me my guns back. Oh, okay, they're still Thank here. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. Horsey. Horsey, so what correct. Exactly are we doing? That is the exact right this attitude. This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think that good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past them. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. This is definitely candy land. Like, look at this. Maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. No extra dialogue? Okay. That's why I slowed down. What a calming ride. Gabby, I fucking love how calming this game is. It's so just soothing, the whole thing. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen, how are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss right, business opportunity. I mean, no right. harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, she's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. This is a lot like Candyland in Django Unchained. This entryway here. Who's that nigga on that nag? What you want? Found something. Out in the hills, thought. Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Wanna do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, if there is, who we wants will to pet get it. shot over a bottle or two of liquor. <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take Correct it. Shot. At least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. 
There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. It's getting interesting. Right. Next stop, the road saloon. Here we go. It's their doggy. But is there... So I guys, I don't think I see a dog, bombs. and that's how we know they're the bad guys. For I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. One can only hope, Kieran. One can only hope. Right. There are enough dogs for this to be a dog up. simulator. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with... The sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're assuming it's crazy. No, she's real. ourselves in his blood feud. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. You know my feelings about that. Of course you're not. You're. You chose a to do that. Idiot brother. Isaiah, please. I'm the clown. You're the brother turned idiot. Just. Look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have Listen, to. I chose this. this. Uh, that... <laughs> <laughs> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. That told you to do it correct, Sean. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. Do you lot know any British Hope slang? I know you lot. There, there. I, I know a fair amount of British slang. There, there. Don't get mad now. We got blagged across the old watches of Tomkins, ain't it? By the Queen's own crumpets. You tell wagon, you the wagon is stuck. That is correct, Sean. Took the piss out of a blimey, I say. We're all taking the piss. Wolf of gas for it. Panga ass horse. I don't know what pang means. Please tell me your magical Narnian language. No, let's speed up. Looks like there's no more dialogue. Piss taken out of it, supply me, correct. See that guy, he's taking the piss. He's taking it. He could be giving the piss, but he only takes it. Don't you ever give him piss. Don't take that shit. and I chose that uh, power slide. That's my decision. Blimey, cunt. You could never be a pro footballer. It's coming home, lads. It's coming home. Did you see that ludicrous display last night? Keep it and stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> what the fuck? I just read the description. I forgot the description. What's my description? Oxford Queef Shoes, Males of Wales, Hay Bale to Male, Iggy Azalea <laughs> for a pail of quail tail nails. Oh man, I was stone sober for that one too. England to win the World Cup, America can't even qualify. That's okay, we don't care about soccer. 
That's the true victory, is being able to not give a shit. Where everyone's just like, I'm Argentina, and I'm Spain, and I'm Portugal, and I'm Russia, and I'm China, and all of our teams matter. And America's just like, you wanna get high? Gentlemen! Break the town you have here! We just rode in from up north! Hey! Hello! Hello, I'm Melvin! This is my brother Fenton! Don't mind him, don't mind. It is a sport. It is the most popular sport. I don't know if it's the best sport. I don't know if you can determine a best sport. like a couple of bucks. I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now! Enjoy the money! Enjoy Come the money. Along, Here's a dollar, which is like a hundred bucks or something back then. People would like nail a prostitute and give her a nickel and she'd be like, Oh my god, do you want your change? I don't know. I don't know, man. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Mel. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them, so hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor <laughs> thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, and cheer up. Yeah. I like Jose. Oh 
way. Take a moment, see what you guys have been saying, because I saw a bunch of stuff that I'm sure it's soccer related. Lord knows I love stirring up shit between England and us and soccer. Because you guys worship it and it's fucking stupid. Okay. Um <laughs> not soccer itself, the worship of soccer is ridiculous. The best sport is competitive swearing, I agree, Sean. Um most fun to play, fun to watch, and keeps patriotism. Patriotism is stupid. Um, just so you know. <laughs> Uh, believe you me, it's just a worthless thing. Chess boxing! I mean, do they play chess and box each other? Do they get in a box and play chess? Either one sounds pretty great. Soccer is one of the popular sports. What do you call it? It's obviously called football. I mean, not here it ain't. Um, in USA football is the game with the diamond-shaped ball and the tackling. Even to touch the ball with your feet. There's one guy who touches the ball with his feet. Yep, when you put the ball into the goal. For us, that's basically rugby. Yeah, rugby is uh, it's a, it's a much crazier football for us. Sport names are stupid, uh, but also it's insane whenever you see rugby players, um, because <laughs> they all look like. Oh my God! At the end of a match, all the rugby players look like they've just been like robbed, <laughs> like jumped. All of them just fucking straight up beating the shit out of, and they're like, "See you guys in three days for another game." <laughs> <laughs> Esports is my favorite sport, though. I don't blame you. Point blank, dead eye. Make damn good sure his eyes are actually dead. I love it. Frick, I love the game music. Don't die. Oh, it's incredible. Soccer is the best if you're good. Uh, I'm not saying it's a bad sport. I'm saying the way it's worshipped is stupid. Uh, and then the whole, like, you have to like my sport thing. Dude, I like basketball and football and tennis, and, and, and I even like soccer with a drink. Um... And 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 ambiance. It's a boring game to me because there's a lot of nothing happening. It's like the game was two to one. I'm like, oh shit, three goals happened, and the rest of it was like, oh, he's gonna get there, he's gonna get there, and he didn't. But wasn't that crazy? No, it wasn't. It would've been crazy if he got the goal. Um, <laughs> but it's like the whole thing of like, you have to like my sport, in America. If I go up to somebody and like, do you like basketball? They'll be like, no. I'm like, oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. That's the thing. Mark from cricket. Hell no. You know, you don't worship a sport. Just play him. Enjoy him. I love basketball. I played it today. It was a lot of fun. Oh, right. I'm not driving. Lady is uh, six cents a hammer. Sweet last words, bro. Keeps me actually tired now. I'll see you another time. All Bye, right. all. Later, Kieran. Good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career. In, what was it? Advertising. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah. I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. 
I'll go visit old Ma Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. I like Jose. Seen cricket stuff, but I have no idea how to cricket. Same. So, what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot will be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got. He's to in it for himself, back. Sean. Couldn't Dutch you. I think he sees the gang as expendable. The new American art. Advertising. Got some missions. Somebody's walking right at me, maybe? No. She's just walking. How are you doing, Molly? Fine. Fed up of moving all the time. Yep. Just the way it is. Well, I should get back to it. Why would you join a band of roving outlaws? She had a problem with moving. Arthur! Stay away from me. Oh, but, but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. It always is with you. Then we end up heading in a burning oh. barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right then. Gentlemen, mind if I warm myself a minute? Well, you lot all you, seem Arthur. particularly sour. Even by your standards, which is saying a lot. Now, how am I Hi, supposed Arthur. to feel okay about themselves with nothing but a bunch of sour-faced killers for company? <laughs> well, I do my best to keep them presentable. Never I really do. The but there's no one to help me. Oh, I know you lot just laugh at me behind my back. I know what you say. But it's not easy. It's not easy at all. Being the camp joke. Oh, 
Just because I have standards, huh? And manners. Manners is important. Manners is everything. Oh, you lot ain't got no manners. Just look at you. Bunch of cow herders, the lot of you. Okay, guys, so what we just saw there is the classic female hustle when the girl has no actual skills. Um, she's not really good for much. Uh, she's kind of getting on in her years. People only really had her around because she was hot. She's not hot anymore. She didn't really pick up a skill. She's not a sneak thief. She's not a, a jeweler. She doesn't know how to shoot people. She doesn't have a, an area of expertise. So what she does is she says, I'm a good person. I'm just, I'm such a good person. And you guys aren't good people, but I'm a good person, that's my expertise, as being a good person. And she's no fun, and she's dumb, and she's stupid, and she's dumb, and she's stupid, and if you ever see them in life, make fun of them. She's a camp joke for a fucking reason. Well, she's just complaining her feelings. It's not that. It's she's trying to justify her existence. To everybody else. Okay, Mr. Morgan. By complaining. You did good, Valentine. Told you it'd be a good score. Yep, you were right. Like, I don't try to justify my existence to other people or like what I do at work by say by just complaining. You know who does that? Somebody who doesn't actually have anything to do. I apologize so in advance give you for some this game stew. Meat. It needs better meat. Cleaning all the time about how you need uh, you need some meat. Have one this perfect snake skin. Trail. Just make sure it goes into the pot, not your pot. I'm gonna call it a day. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Gentlemen. Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials. My, oh my, ain't life grand. Well, it is. Trust me on that one. It is. No, it wasn't just like a girl complaining. It was legitimately her trying to be like, do you know what I do around here? The place would like fall apart, you know, like if I didn't do what I do, like. Thanks, Mr. Pearson. This ain't funny. Oh, I disagree. Now, why are you so afraid of a pair of gelding tongs? I thought you were the horse expert. Alright, go on. It ain't like you got balls anyways. <laughs> oh, hell's half acre. <laughs> oh, hearing him. Oh, oh, my balls. <laughs> like that'd be enough by the sea. Sick glitch game. He was in the middle of a thing and then just stopped. And then she validated her presence in the gang by fomenting her ultimate bitchiness skills. I mean, yeah. No, said it's true. Just like, I'm, I'm like, I, I'll just like hurt your feelings if you hurt my feelings. So like, so like, you're a bad person. Okay. Don't forget that. And if you don't agree, then you're a bad person. Upgrade the provisions wagon twice at the ledger, craft the recipes at the scout fire. Upgrade the medicine wagon. We gotta upgrade stuff at the ledger. Okay, got it. I mean, I don't really have to. I'm having a pretty easy time beating the game without the upgrades. They don't seem to be necessary. You awake? Watch, Arthur. You were snoring, that's all. Oh, I'm too tired for this. 
Lenny and I raided a big old house in the swamps, stole some guns. Sweet response, Dutch. Hi, Micah. Did you need something? Please bring me on test so I can bitch at the enemy, right? I'll call them bad people. That's what I'll do. Strauss is medic and wagon. Increased all supplies. Includes snake oil to restore dead eye and bitter. So I mean, sure. Water quality tonics available. The medical wagon is increased. You can pay to resupply the medical wagon when stocks are low. Sick. I did it. And I did it because like, I'm a good person. Three still supplies. Okay, for fifty dollars, why not? I'm not? I don't really do dick with money anyway in this game, so screw it. Three still supplies. Sure, seventy-five dollars. It's the greatest wagon that ever wagoned of all the wagons. Sean, what do you think of, like, my skulls and yelling at people? And now I can just resupply the wagon. Pierce this provision, grease silver, adds fresh fruit and basic canned goods, okay. Gotta be like, if you're like a person who's just like taken for granted and everybody was like a hater, would you be like, stop that? Or would you be like, no, that's who I am. Cause that's a shade off. That's, that's, that's really like the old and back in the day, that girl. If you're ever wondering, uh, oh my god, I can't stand these girls who are just like, oh my, oh my, oh my. that's what she is. Except she's like an olden times. We didn't say, oh my god, we didn't take the Lord's name in vain, we said, oh my beaver. We expressed ourselves. Like, it's, it's just, just, she's just garbage. Arthur's munitions, increased armor, armory supplies, adds repeater ammo and arrows. Okay. A worthwhile investment into myself. Oh my beaver. There's no pot in this game, is there? Might be a solution to the girl's problems, right? Just give her some weed. It's called marijuana. And it'll solve a rickety dickety in your chickety. Or something awesome. Arthur's lines are so well written. You just say something awesome. How about a something in your something? And I'm like, right on, Arthur. A something in her something. I'm just upgrading this camp. Upgrade Dutch's lodging encourages others to donate. Okay, so first I have to donate a bunch of money to upgrade the lodgings. Let's give him like a G. I think we should give him like a G. That's why I'm gonna need more than a G. So we're gonna need like two G's. I don't even care. It will. It will, Sean. Don't you ever not believe that it'll solve a rickety dickety and shakety what it's for. Oh no, I went too far. It must be 2,000 even, otherwise the boogeyman will get us if we give him too much money. John, do you believe in the boogeyman? I only believe in him when I'm donating money to Dutch for some reason. Oh my god, what if I gave him $2,019, guys? 
Oh my god. Guys. I'm such a good person, and you're not as good as me because I'm. Oh my god. Is there another page? Horse station. Buy a camp a horse station. And place to retrieve horses from the stables and recall your main horse to camp. Get to get a chicken coop. Let's get a chicken coop. Got some leather work and tools. Got a camp boat. What's on the next page? Oh, that's it? Okay. So let's get these one-time purchases out of the way too, right? Purchased a boat for the camp. Sick. We have a boat. You start by liking is this game's boogeyman, right? Listen, if you don't believe in the boogeyman, then you're a hater. And you'll have to back off. It's the law. Okay? If you don't, it's bad. Got some chickens. Got a horse station. I mean, I could swear we already had a horse station, but now we've got a horse station. That costs $300, guys. Right there. See that shit? 300 Come on, man, that's a hustle. So someone's video where they got struck by lightning. I'm genuinely curious how to trigger that, and I think they found the answer to the donation thing. I want to sniff that chicken. Oh, Gabby. You just might get your wish. Fast travel map and additional grooming supplies are now available. Oh, sweet! So that's how you fast travel. You have to buy the ability. Got it. Improve the rest of the tents for camp. I mean, screw it. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, it's the camp doggy. I love him. He's my best friend. And I think I've fully upgraded the camp. And I did I cause I'm a gun person. And I really can't think of anything else to do with the fucking money in this game. Correct shenanigans. Let's take a look at this new and improved camp. Well first we upgraded Dutch's tent, right? That costed two hundred and twenty dollars for some reason, right? What's good, Molly? Morning, dear. Morning, Arthur. Watch the wind doesn't change. Oh, shut up, Arthur. Wouldn't want that face to freeze. Okay. I'm such a good person. Morning, Arthur. There she is. You got this place whipped into shape, all right. I'm trying. You can only imagine what we'd be like left to our own devices. Okay. She knows I'm not being serious. She knows I don't respect her. Oh my god, could you imagine if you didn't do your job? Thank you so much for bitching. Oh my goodness. We'd be lost without your bitching. Like your new home? I won't miss that other place, that's for sure. Keep your nose clean. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Then take care. You okay? Jesus, Arthur, when was the last time you washed? That's a good point. You've been doing good. Thanks, Arthur. Keep at it. All right, Arthur. Yeah, let me, let me. Can't I take a bath in here somewhere? Is there not a bath? Can I not bald in here? Not the sarcasm, though, right? What's good, Dutch? Look at you over there just jacking it. What's going on, buddy? Hey. Good morning, Art. Hello, Looks like Dutch. a good book there. Very enjoyable. Well, I'll leave you to it. Whatever you say. Didn't I need a perfect snakeskin to make some kind of guitar for myself or some shit? That's what this has all been about, right? Oh, I have to go to Pearson for that. Get 
No doggy. No, I love you. You're not parasite. You're perfect. You're perfect. Come here, buddy. You're my, you're my best friend. No, I love you. Don't listen to Pearson. You're a bad person. And not like... Like a criminal. I mean, he poo poo doo doo garbage butts. We don't like him. You are all that you matters. Okay, you're the best doggy. All the doggies. You're the greatest doggy. You're a good boy. You don't even lick the face. You're not even trained. You're just a good boy. Epic subject change, Arthur, right? Let us wash. We can actually take a bath. There's a place we can go to take a bath. You awake yet? What's going on? Arthur! Damn it, Arthur. Let me sleep. Hi, Mary Beth. Good morning, Arthur. Sometimes I wonder why you stick with us reprobates. Reprobates. Oh, you ain't so bad. Anyway, shouldn't put ideas in your head. Sure. It's a word I don't hear used very often. Reprobates. I'm very into my at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. Perfect bison, perfect raccoon. Legend of the East Satchel. I swear I needed a perfect snake skin. Perfect war pelts. To make some kind of like thing. Do the garbage butts, correct. Beautiful doggo, right? They're all good dogs, Bront. I need two perfect snake skins to make that banjo head. Got it. Thank you, Mr. Pearson. Maybe I'll pick a day this week and I get home from work to just farm all that perfect hide shit that I don't need at all for any reason whatsoever. The camp does look a bit nicer though, especially the food Mr. area. Morgan. I feel I made a bit of a fool of myself again. Uh, we've all done it. And you saved my life again. Well, maybe one day you'll save mine. Or my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I stole this from one of those awful men. You should have it. Well, thank you, but you were blind drunk. I was drunk, but I never forget my manners. Be well, Mr. Morgan. Where did my future wife go? I love her. That is Strauss and not my future What's wife. What's wrong with you, Mr. Morgan? How'd you mean? You're stuck in camp all the time. You used to be such a man of action. Well, I'm sorry. Fuck off, Susan. Good morning, Arthur. I'll get on those debts. Good, good. They better be. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Sounds good, Mr. Morgan. That dude looted an enemy for you. He has more skills than the bitchy witch, right? Are you always dying here? I'm fucking sleeping. Eat shit, dude. Like, I woke up, I'm walking around, I'm saying hi to people. You're like, ah, uh -huh. Morning. Morning. Now, her. Mm. You look pissed off. <laughs> no more than usual. Okay. Just checking you're alright. Okay, then. Oh, she's perfect.
Okay. That's Lenny over there. Being Lenny as Lenny. Nobody's giving me any missions, so let's do one! Damn you, Susan, and your bitchiness, right? What an awful person she is, like, legitimately. John Marston. Dutch told you to meet up with John and Javier at Gray's place. What to do with Braithwaite's horse prize? That's story stuff. There's a second one. Here it is. Jose Matthews. Dutch told you to meet up with Jose and Sean at Braithwaite Manor while they ingratiate themselves. Okay. So we're doing two houses. One at a time, maybe. I'd like to go with Jose first. It's never the final thing whenever I do things with Jose and quite enjoy his company. Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. It's about Dutch. It is. See, I love him, and I know he loves me, but... He won't eat me, pussy. Girl. But you don't strike me as an idiot. Dutch don't love you. Not in the way you want to be loved. No. Just don't make a fool of yourself. You sues, you lose. No, it's not right, guys. <laughs> Arthur, please, you don't care about this nonsense. Away with you. Hey, man, I want to hear I it. I want to sugarcoat things, my dear. It is like that. Take care of yourself. You don't understand. Unfortunately, I do. Thou hast been pimped. Well. Well, you don't. Mm, poor thing. Okay. He picked you, honey. Ha. You told her. No, oh, stop nosing around. She's losing it back, girl. All right, well, I should be getting on. Yeah, goodbye. Jump. Oh, I can't. Let's get going, guys. Let's guys! Go let's get going. You're forcing me to stay. I keep saying let's get going, guys. Look at this $300 horse station right here. What is this shit? Would you like to also sell me rubles? Or timeshares in Florida? What is this hustle? It's ridiculous. Are you a king in Nigeria who needs $2,000? What is with that fucking horse station, dude? I'm right next to the like immediately next to Candyland. It's nuts. It's just, it's just right here. It is, Sean. Hopefully, I'm near the end of it, or at least half fucking way, dude. I've been playing this game so long. In fact, let me save my game before I start this fucking mission. <laughs> But honestly, like, I feel like I've been playing this game for a while, and I'm, like, nowhere near the end. Like, the plot keeps thickening, and we keep going further east, but it's gonna reach ahead at some point, I just don't know when. I am at... 46%, so halfway? Maybe? Question mark? Sort of making me sleepy and how peaceful it is, right? What chapter are you on? I think this is chapter three. I don't honestly remember. Howdy! Hey fellas, 
I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Christ, watch it! Watch it. Oh, Dutch has a mission for me now, back home. I would love to find out more about the bounty hunters. Ah, please come in, sir. <laughs> this way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello ma I am enjoying it, though. I just wish I had more time to play it. Just playing Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? Well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think... Well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal... <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on Earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Hop on, I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. Fine. You don't trust Sean Hannity? Sean mix something. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. But okay. I'm I'm really trying. Hello? Can can I get Hello? I know it's glitched, Gabby. It's just what? <laughs> Let's shine on first. Get on there, scene. You are a fake ass, Sean. That's not even how Sean is spelled. Okay, so I go around Sometimes that side. Today, be nice, Morgan. That's what your mother said. All right, let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I shoved that silver spoon down his throat and pulled it clean out of his ass. A smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Yeah, using that back there. Moonshine? <laughs> Born's faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Not I thinking this hell about I toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea in the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. 
There really better be some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. They were on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> All right, then. Yeah. The music really is just so freaking good. This game, though. you want, boy? I've... I've... There, there was a thing... A, a, a thing... At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal. In Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies, uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, Grace, you're a trusting drink. bunch. Hamish. <coughs> uh, Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Uh, straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Uh, right you are. Are you guys scared? <laughs> <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real 
fancy because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man. <coughs> <coughs> Hold up in here till it gets dark. Turn in the wagon. Or close the door. That works. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. Molotovs. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. <clears throat> You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, There'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was bar burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. The wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? I'll take care of this fella. You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Like he's peeing. My favorite cocktail, right? This is the Austin Power urination scene. Should be enough for here. Oh, balls. It wasn't shit. Saw nothing. Nothing was there. That's great, I'll be fine. <laughs> I'm sure everything will work out. I mean, it's designed to be beaten, right? Metal Gear Redemption. Correct, Shonigans. Okay, I'm 
afraid he's gonna turn around like the last guy. Hey, I was right. at the barn. None of you have seen shit. Let me loot this gray here. Get down, you stupid bitch. Let me loot this other gray here. Oh, I just can't. It's just a corpse. Okay. Sick. Open revolver cartridges. Okay. So I gotta meet up with Sean out there. Then you can't. We're gonna get on these horses and jet, right? Burn the barn. Time to loot stuff, right, guys? Let's go. I'm 
I'm trying to use triangle to melt the boss. I'm I'm trying, mate. Oh, is this a magical frozen moment in time where nobody attacks me so I can loot everything? I mean, I'm not gonna loot everything, but I will loot this guy. Apparently I won't. I'm trying! I'm, I'm trying so hard, Sean. Sean! Oh, that's how I do it. Sick. does not handle anywhere near as well as my racehorse. Oh boy. Tell your mother, bus tastes like fish, you got a fish cut. Let's just get out of here first. game, right? Our proof for us, yeah, it really works. It does! Oh, it was so worth the skill point, John. I think we lost him. That we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. What now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Me. <laughs> Riding into the night. Chancellor Sean C has been promoted to Admiral Asbestos. Correct. I don't think we bought Chauncey with us, though. He's safe at home. I would never risk him something like this. I love Chauncey too much. Here we are. Home sweet home. You let Jose know how we got on. Again for that watch, Arthur. Friend. I left something for you by your bed. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Oh, sure I did. Ah, Lenny. Everybody's sleeping. Ah, Uncle Arthur. Hey. Hey, hey. Oh, what is it? I've forgotten what it was now. This ain't funny. No, oh, it's kind of hilarious to me. But only kind of. Poor Chauncey. Chauncey's my best friend and I love him forever and ever and ever. Arthur, Arthur. Did he want again? What about the bounty hunters that Trenally mentioned? Oh yeah, Trelawney. Well. 
It left me something by my bed, he said. What was this it? I think it's that potent miracle tonic. Thanks, bruh. Take fire bottle. Oh, I will. I can fast travel now, guys. I mean, I'm not gonna, but I can. Sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease ridden, swampy, Dixie whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. Well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until <laughs> we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So? I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Miss O'Shea. Hello. Charles. I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Good old Chuck just coming through. He asks me no questions. Come, Chancellor Chauncey. Goodbye, one-time use horse. You thought you was the best? You thought you was my friend? You thought this was forever? You're wrong, boy. Where are we going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch like was gonna Like a play damn him like fiddle. A fiddle. <laughs> on the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> hmm. So, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies, the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. Easy now. I think it's just up here. Arthur, what are you doing? There we go. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. 
Tat is Kilgore Mining Company certificate. This is certified that blank Not is the holder of blank shares, inclusive in the above company, subject to provisions of the memorandum and articles of association thereof, and that the sum of one dollar has been paid to each of said shares, Secretary. Right on. You see anything there? This food barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. What do you think? Where is this clue I just saw? Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. Look. Tracks. Come on. Hmm. They went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. Hmm. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles way by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. See? They must have crossed over the tracks. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen them? <clears throat> We're, uh... We're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here! Come in! Brain him pretty good. You stay there. Where is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Tell me where he is. You go to hell! You better tell me now, you son of a bitch! Okay! Okay, for Christ's sake! They took him to a cabin. Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left! Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. <laughs> No witnesses, guys. All right. No mother sexing witnesses. Not once, not ever. Come on, let's go. Ha! Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. It is, right, Sean? That's Just like the sickest there. tracking. Ha! You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a... Hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. 
I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? <sighs> kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent. Correct, Sean. Keeping fish on the line. After that oh. sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Uh, 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 the no witnesses. So. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Okay, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Flush him out. One more, Charles. This is actually interesting. Where? Where?
but it's like really rare. All the way out there. See something on the ground over here. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. Keep looking, Arthur. You must. Let me take him and get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Come on. You should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. Shots are coming. You're wide open there. What are you doing? Shoot. I got you now. He's backing off inside. Get after him. Come here, you. Good. You should be the last of them. <sighs> all right, let's go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> uh, guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. Hey, Chauncey. Get on, Charles. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Bounty hunter. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems... You That's a real name, yep. Hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep here. It might be best if I stay with you, gentlemen, for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Bounty hunters. 
Pinkerton's lawmen. Everywhere we go, there's more and more civilization. Perhaps this is it from now on. We shall see, I guess. There's a stranger here. It's that story right over there, I think, right? Michael Bell, Josiah Chelani. hair tonic, you say. Gabby's bouncing. I'm gonna go now. This game is so beautiful and calming. Makes me want to sleep a bit. Bye, guys. Oh, well, enjoy your sleep, Gabby. It is incredibly calming, isn't it? It's super relaxing. Oh, man. Yep. Wow, it's been three hours. I'm hungry. How are you holding up, Sean? Wait, there's a stranger in town. What am I doing? Yeah. This fog, though, I'm not a fan of. Pretty good, brother. Glad to hear it, man. So I was into the mic, uh, suddenly zero fog, right? Fuck's that about? You okay there, mister? You need me to move? Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. 
You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was a source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. Yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Sure thing, buddy. Let's go into some trouble on his account. Are you looking for that fellow's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks. Combs in, Sean. Comb it is a dude. I'm sorry. Had to. It's necessary. There was no way to do this without saying it like that. In that way. Defenestration because the English language needed a word specifically for throwing someone out the window. Welcome to America, Sean. Or England, they may have originated that word. Am I going around the world or some shit? What is this?
Sean, I killed the racist thugs. Killed some people, son. I need their I need their dollars. That also reminds me of Django. Is that a turtle? Oh we got a snapping turtle. how this is a place you could use a good kill and correct buddy I like how this is a place like oh you know that swamp dock yeah that really obscure one way out there I mean fucking Tim's house fucking they went to Tim's house look at some regular ass shit doesn't like witnesses. No, he does not. So let us GTFO. Game is a slow motion headshot kill cam, right? That's what makes them great. I think after this little mission, though, I'm gonna s I'm gonna turn off the stream because I'm. Oh. Well, I am yawning. I'm just more hungry than anything else. Working out all the time is uh, fucking jump started my appetite like you wouldn't believe. First time someone said I feel you to me and I was like, please don't. We can stop by the fence real fast. Hey buddy. You know what I hate more than being drunk? Well, long time drunk? no see, stranger. <laughs> what am I doing?
been a minute. Got anything good for me by any chance? seeing that wagon again. Nor you, for that matter. The only people you won't be seeing are the folks who took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Ah, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, yeah. let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture? He'll be well for a day. Teaching to make one, he might be well a while longer. Well, I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. Here, have this book. It holds one recipe. Should do it for today. Now, Fort Wallace doesn't want me. Oh yeah, and there's a Native American encampment there, a reservation, if you will. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm type tired right now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna eat some food. I'm probably gonna knock out for a bit. I'm gonna biggity bounce. So. Sean, it's been fun. it has been a lot of fun, whoever that other viewer is. Thank you for joining. I am going to eat. I will see you later. But more book, more pages on words, correct. Keep it real. Stay white, stay black, stay Asian, stay Spanish. Do not stay any of the other races. If you are, it's bad. It's fine. Stay whatever you are. You can't change. Why would you?